Cut his ears out. Isn't that beautiful? It's Monday today. Um, I was planning on riding at 2.12. Uh, but then, <clears throat> because uh, my horse has been off and she's a bit fresh and she's been actually really, really good. She was amazing yesterday. Really calm and really sweet and, and soft. Um, I will. I well, I want to try to continue on that path. And um, outside the indoor arena, there is like a little paddocky thing, and the other yard uses it as a turnout at the moment because of the um, the grounds are so wet. And they <coughs> had two youngsters there, and one of them is very excitable. And I decided to wait until they came in uh, before I go up to ride because. That is something that we will have to work on. So I'm not saying that it's bad that they are out there. I'm just saying that at the moment, I don't want anything, if I can help it, from like the outside factors to make my horse be um, uh, spooky or tense uh, because she's been so good. And I think it's really important that she learns to relax and trust uh, what's going on uh, because that's something she struggles with. So I'm going to ride... Uh, at four o'clock instead, uh, so Heather Road, <clears throat> which is fine. And with both me and Heather um, being a bit off, <laughs> it's just so much tidying up to do. <sighs> if you don't keep on top of it, or even just only for a day, it's just, I don't know, it just creates such a mess. Too much stuff. Ugh. Too much things everywhere. So I am just going to feed the horses um, quickly. Then Heather will come down and continue while I go and get on the horse. And hopefully she will get some video footage. Um, my horse was really good yesterday. Um, I was expecting her to, to maybe not be so good because she's been off. But yeah, uh, happily surprised. I hope she's as good today. Um, yeah, fighting with the rain, it's raining, it's raining all day and apparently it's going to continue to rain all week so our already wet fields, which is half standing of water, it's going to get wetter water, water, water so instead of playing music over this video clip I thought I would talk a little bit instead Um. It's been a while since I've had videos in my vlogs, mainly because I've been away and I've been sick. Um, also, showing videos and watching videos when I'm riding, it's a sensitive subject. Um, I can go more in detail about it another time, but it's basically, I've been very, very harshly judged uh, on my riding up through the years. And also about my weight, and I know it's a... It's a subject there's a lot of attention on right now uh, because as you can see I am a bigger rider anyway I'm not going to go into detail there too much right now so I've just done two shoulder ends and this is a working progress and um, when the right hand is on the outside uh, she seems to not be quite as um, soft as uh, when the left hand is on the outside and that is um, basically because she gets a little bit stressed to your right hand. She doesn't trust your right hand as nicely as she trusts the left. Uh, but it's something we are working on. Here, when she kind of doesn't have to depend as much on the outside hand in that travel there, she gets a bit more soft. Um, here in the half pass, she just gets herself a little bit long, as you can see. I also need to be better uh, at keeping my reins short. Uh, this one is slightly better. I keep a little bit more my calf on and she keeps pushing through and forwards and she kept the connection nicer there. Here the trot is a little bit more active than it was the other way. The canter has helped her. Uh, as you can see this shoulder in, uh, she keeps herself a little bit shorter she is nicer through into the hand and likes when the left hand is on the outside. 
um, here in the Travair, she is also fairly soft. This Travair is maybe not quite as good as the other one uh, because she's a little bit stiffer on this right side, which uh, is why I'd like to have a masseuse or a chiropractor coming out and looking at her. Um, and she just needs to keep pushing through. But as I sa said, she hasn't been working that hard um, for almost a month now. So she's a bit rusty and she just needs to find her strength again. That half pass, she just elongated her body. Again, I could have helped her a little bit more, keeping pushing through. This one is slightly better, but my reins are a little bit long. So that results in her just coming a little bit longer. But I'm very happy with her anyway. Dear, it sounds like death has come. Say hello. Hello. So she's just come in. We are just going out. My horse was awesome. She doesn't look very awesome there. She looks like a donkey. Oh. And shout to you. Can I? Because I'm a nice person. Ah, oh, thank you. You're so nice. She looks all smart and everything, look. Well, I wouldn't quite go that far. <laughs> <coughs> but she does sound like death. My awesome pony. She was so good. So, so good. I'm so, so happy. Oh, he almost did still. I'm impressed. Almost. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Right. I might come up if I get finished in time then and be nice. Yeah. Come and speak, Pops. In turn. In turn. In turn. My horse doesn't like them. Once we were riding and she made this enormous leap and um, Heather is teaching another client and she goes, oh, interesting or excitable rather and um, <laughs> and I, I ride past her and all I can hear is her mumbling, killed by the dogs, <laughs> killed by the dogs. <laughs> And I'm like, not nice. <laughs> You're not being nice. But it was quite amusing, to be honest. I managed to break my spar strap. Luckily, when I was tidying up here earlier, I found a new pair of spar straps. So, I'm in luck and it's no disaster. I need to love them a bit more, really, is what it comes down to. I don't. Oh, well. So I managed, it's 25 past now, so she's been riding for 25 minutes. Um, Heather will feed, uh, uh, hard feed the horses, so I can go and help Karen a little bit. And then I will go back to the yard and um, uh, 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 I'm really struggling with words. Do the sugar bait. <laughs> and give me some horses some water and change my horse's rug and then I'm going to go inside <laughs> Do you want help? Huh? What? I'm um, I'm vlogging. Do you want me to help you? 
She just doesn't answer. Aaron, well, you answered the lady. You didn't, did you? Did you want me to help? Okay. I go and sit down then. That's an elegant giraffe. Karen, who's just ridden, she had to jump off and run out to be sick. That's dedication for you. <laughs> um, um, do you know what you do on Wednesday? Uh, this, yes, the sick person who should go back home. Dedication. She's just done her um, e dress art. She goes out competing, uh, which she said in the last vlog on Saturday. Uh, her first affiliated. Yay! Ah, uh, very good. And this is, she always does these e dress art tests once a month or? Yeah, once a month. It's Equimind. Equimind. And she did very well today. And so did this one. The super cob, he's so pretty. <laughs> Poppy hasn't been on the vlog. vlog. Has she not? I think so. Oh no. Oh, look who she is. Hello, darling. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so nuts. I will get you out if you stop wriggling. <laughs> this is half my puppy. Hey! Oi, 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 stuck. Stuck. Hey! <laughs> Nutcase! Nutcase! Yeah! Well, I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so Karen
Aaron did very, very well. Um, but I think <laughs> the dog. <laughs> um, one of the things which is hard, uh, which Aaron is working on, is to really get the balance through her seat so she can have a more independent seat and can ride more forwards and and out to the hand. It's a little bit like a safety blanket. She wants to just have a little bit of the balance kept in the contact, which is not unusual. Um, so that's just something we're working on and she's getting better and better. Um, she's also getting straighter. Uh, I might get Karen to, um, to do a little guest vlog because she has actually been through quite a lot and had um, a bad, bad injury uh, which is causing her a bit of trouble and I just think that you know she's doing she's doing as well as she can and she's trying so hard and it's just it's quite um, inspiring actually so I think she deserves that I think she's she deserves a lot of thumbs up and support because she's actually trying and doing really well so just um, had dinner sorted out um, a short version of like the German um, job offer uh, on my YouTube channel only um, and then I am now waiting for the clock to become nine then I'm gonna go outside and um, uh, 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 what's it called show you guys we had I took some I take some photos sometimes and I took photos of um, Keto and uh, the owner <coughs> really liked them and um, me and Heather decided that we would give her in a shared present, uh, Christmas and um, birthday present, a painting of Keto uh, by one of the pictures I took and it's finally ready and she's brought it over today so I'm going to show you guys that. Here it is, beautiful painting, stunning. Cut his ears out. Huh? <laughs> Cut his ears out. Isn't that beautiful? I'm jealous. You're not getting it, Sonia. I'm going to steal it and run off. <laughs> Here she is. It's a Jill Bush. Right Artist, <laughs> Artist extraordinaire. Look at the wonderful painting she's done for us of Goldie. And she doesn't like this vlogging. No, I've never done this before. But it's good. I've done a vlog before. Vlog. A vlog. A vlog. A, vlog. a, a vlog. video oh, blog. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Very good. Jill Bush. Animal portraits. Here's another little thing, which is the back of this card. <gasps> so, that is the end of this vlog. If you have liked it, thumbs up. Uh, if you think uh, someone else will like it, tag them. If you think my vlogs are good, then please come and follow my, my um, page. Um, I'm also on Instagram. <clears throat> and I have a blog as well, which I keep referring to. And I have, as I said a bit earlier, um, just started a YouTube channel. Um, so, and it's under the same name <clears throat> everywhere. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've liked it. And I will see you for the next one.